All right, and let's talk matters award-winning. And, uh, of course, uh, that is the East uh, employee, Employer of the Year Awards uh, that are currently back. And that happened last Friday. Now, it's with South Africa, one of the winners of the, the overall Employer of the Year Award 2023, joining the like of Safari Corp and BAT in the list that seeks to honor employers who are running sound businesses and a holistic business environment that takes care of areas such as inclusivity, innovation, good corporate performance, among others. Now, at the same time, other employers who won different awards have called on the government to relook its taxation measures to avoid increasing operational costs for employers. And for us to win this award is a testament to the fact that we've kept the men on the ground safe. It's a testament to the fact that we are keeping the, those in the offices safe and those working within our operations department safe. So as an organization, we are very excited about winning this award. The appeal to the government is to look into this whole aspect of taxation. Because with the many taxes that are coming into place, employees are hit hard, really hard, and doing business in this country is also becoming expensive. Taxes that are being introduced that employers are not budgeted for, and so it's becoming really hard for organizations to carry on. And more so for organizations that rely on donations. It's a challenge for us. So my appeal to the government is look into this taxation. In the past, taxation was based on basic pay. We are now seeing the government moving towards taxing people on gross pay, which is really, really terrible because it really affects the employees. Salaries are not going up at the same rate that the taxation is is carrying on and of course uh, it, it was good to see companies 